G'day guys, welcome to Robert's Fish Room. So, I just realised i still got my high vis on, but you guys aren't, aren't afraid of high vis, are you? Makes for a good video, doesn't it? You can see me real well. Anyway, yeah, as some of the older viewers know, and new ones might not know, I do get a bit self-conscious about wearing high vis in vlogs. I don't think it looks very professional, but who cares? Um, so, I'm selling one of my favourite colonies, and when I say favourite colonies, I don't know. I love them, but it's time for change. We want to change this fish room around. And um, the person who I'm giving these fish to, um, he has some fish that I want. So hopefully when he breeds them, I'll get the fry. Um, and it will just be a pretty much straight out trade. I'm pretty much giving them to him, just knowing that I know he'll look after me because he's a top bloke. Um, I'm not going to say who it is or anything, but it's somebody most of pe Perth people will know. Um, but anyway, let's have a look at them. Alright guys, it's my Lunacara Benchi, or Benga, as a lot of people call them. So, there's about 22 fish. There's actually one in there which I'm going to pull out, because I think it might be a marble. Um, and I really don't want the bloodline mixed up because this is a true colony. Um, it's only small, it's like three centimeters, that one there. But anyway, so there's, there's the male there. There's actually subdominant male. Where is he? I think that one starting to color up. But some of you might remember, I only sold the, my old male recently. So this guy's only just coming up to maturity um, so this is actually my third generation from this colony um, basically when my bigger girls stopped breeding I put some fresh fry in there and um, so that's what this is it's going to be sad to see them go simply because look how gorgeous that fish is but I think I'm pretty much done with peacocks. I don't know. I've got the Lawanda down here. Sorry, there's no light on the tank. But if you see, the Luan he's only got a white crest so far. So I definitely don't want to breed them unless that crest becomes orange. So I'm going to have to keep a close eye on them. Um, and then the code blue which I told you yesterday are thinking about selling um, I'm more hesitant to sell them because they're less common than Benga but at the same time I've very rarely seen Benga of this quality which makes me want to not sell them but we need to do a shuffle um, I think the Lawanda and the Tinardi or whatever they're called are going to go down there because the Tenardi are bottom dwellers, so you'll see them better in a bottom tank. And then the, the marbles are going to go up here. And, well, that's about it for now. I want that tank free, because <clears throat> I actually want to put the little wonder in there. And then the Tenardi, I, I want them to have a different tank mate. A much more peaceful tank mate and something I've never bred before so you can have a guess at what you think that is drop a comment if you think you know what it is um, but anyway let's go in the house I've got something to show you guys alright so I just had my friend Ash over you guys might remember him from the video where I toured his house um, so I showed him my um, blackbeard algae problem his theory is on on the Brazilians anyway see how there's fresh shoots he reckons cut the main plants almost back to nothing and then see what it does when it tries to grow back um, I am trying to get Siamese algae eaters but it, it proves tougher than I thought it none of the wholesalers have them and a lot of the shops seem to be sold out I haven't tried every local shop but the, my main go-to's don't have them um, but anyway so it's going to be a nightmare to trim because the tank's so deep, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, I got a new plant. I can't remember what it's called. 
I was just at Molly Aquariums and Paul was like, this is a nice plant. So I bought it. Um, but yes, I'm still looking for Siamese algae eaters and I'm also looking at American flags. But I don't know how they'll go in the warm water, but we'll give it a go. Why not? Um, the Rotalis or Rotala or whatever it's called is going off. Um, like, <clears throat> to think like all of that along the back there was made from like a couple of stems and me just spreading them. That's insane. But I do need to think about cutting it again and planting more because I want that whole back wall to be green. Um, it, this discus is a perfect example of why. So this melon discus had really bad peppering and the more those plants grow at the back, the less peppering this discus has. And that was always my goal, was to like try plant it out so you can't see the black background. So we'll just keep trying. Let's try cut this plant. All right, so I, think, I figured a bit of a voiceover might be a bit more exciting than a bit of casual music. Um, it was an absolute nightmare to trim. You can see my high-vis sleeve there is actually under the water. And um, as I was cutting it, I was so I'm looking down in the water and uh, oh, and also look there, the light turned off on the light schedule. So it took me a minute to get it back on. Um, but anyway, so then I kept cutting, but as I was cutting it, it was floating up and it was like covering my line of sight. So then <laughs> it was just an absolute nightmare. It's a, it's a bit of a shambles. You can see some spots there. I've actually cut it lower than I wanted to. And then I, and then I missed a load of spots as well. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a tough gig. The tank's 2.5 foot deep. All right, guys, so I trimmed it all up. Look at it all floating. It's going to town. Um, well, I went to town, I mean. So I feel like I got rid of like 70 to 80% of the black beard just doing that. I also trimmed the moss back. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of them die, but um, I'm about to put this in. Where is it? Uh, oh, it's in the cupboard. Hold up. No more Blackbeard. So I've heard mixed reports on this. Some people say it works, some people say it doesn't. Um, I guess I'll just make up my own mind. Um, it would be a better controlled test than if I had have bought Siamese algae eaters because if I did them both at once, I wouldn't know which one's actually working. So um, the only problem is I don't have a measuring cup. But 5 mils per 50 litres, 10 times 5 is 50 mils. I reckon I can guess 50 mils. Uh, oh, actually, tell a lie. I do have a measuring cup. 20 mils. All right, so I'm going to put this in off camera because it's just easier. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you know how this goes. So I paid for this product. It's not a sponsored uh, advertisement. Um, the owner of the company is a friend of mine, but like you guys know, I'm willing to give an honest opinion on a product. Um, so yeah, I just let you know that I do know the owner of this company. I don't want to pretend like I've got no affiliation with them, and but I promise I'll give you my my verdict. Um, I've currently got the lights on three hours on, one hour off, three hours on. Um, Ash basically told me just to put it back to six hours solid. Um, he reckons from all his research that it's a bit of a wives' tale. So I don't know. I trust that bloke with plants. You guys have seen his house. That his plants are hands down, like hands all the way to the ground, the best planted tanks I've ever seen. Like they are immaculate. His um his big tank. I think it's a six foot. Um like it, it it's it had like the tiniest little bit of hair algae on one plant and like there was no sign of any algae other besides that um and you guys saw how vibrant it looks um this camera doesn't do um plants any favors and even on this camera it still looks like the plants were popping 
But anyway, um, he actually said bring the camera back around. He's got some new stuff he wants to show me. And um, he, he liked the feature I did on his house. So um, it's cool to see that we're welcome back to someone's house. Um, it means we did, I did the right thing when I was filming. I obviously showed it off the way he liked it. But anyway, guys, I'm not sure what's in store for the weekend. I want to work on the fly tanks, but it's just going to be a bit of an assessment on whether there is any moisture in them or not. Um, it's fine tomorrow, so maybe I'll let them, I'll put them out in the sun tomorrow afternoon and maybe Sunday I might be able to work on them. But I can't make any promises just because of like everything that's happened and they're not completely out of the rain right now because there's holes in the roof and that. So um, I'll try. I'll see how I go. If you like this video, guys, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hang on, that's the piece. I want that one. The little red button down the bottom. Peace out.